Hi friends, in this video of editorial analysis, we are going to have a look into the editorials that appeared on 14th of February. The first article is on the recently released uh, in India State of Forest Report 2017. The article is titled Woods and Trees on the State of Indian Forest. Let's have a brief look, uh, brief outline of uh, State of Forest Report. It is a biennial report that is uh, being released for every two years by uh, Forest Survey of India under the aegis of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The report says that the total forest and tree cover in India has, has become has reached the level of 24.4% of total land area and this uh, forest area has increased marginally by 0.21% in uh, comparing to the data given in uh, the 2015 state of the forest report. The total tree cover in India is uh, 93,815 square kilometer and it has, uh, it, it has seen a rise of 2% uh, from the last report. Three states namely Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Kerala they have shown incremental growth in uh, forest cover. 15 states have forest cover less than the recommended level of 33%. The author criticizes the uh, state of forest report uh, claiming that the uh, report seems to be a broad brush initiative rather than uh, uh, giving uh, the ground reality. The increasing tree cover is a good sign but it is not same as having a biodiverse and uh, old growth forest. The report has even considered uh, the trees in plantations and groves in order to ascertain the extent of uh, forest cover in India. But the trees in plantation, it cannot be equated with the ecosystem services provided by full grown forests. The Champion and Seth classification has classified, uh, Champion and Seth has introduced a class, has uh, done a study on classification of Indian forest. Champion and Seth have classified Indian forest into 16 major forest types and 221 um, uh, minor subtypes. In the present condition, India has very few of its ancient forests. The author says that forest restoration should involve improving the native vegetation. The positive, there is also another positive sign, uh, which is uh, the increasing percentage of open forests. And the open forests are the one uh, with the tree cover uh, ranging between 10 to 40 percentage. And uh, the author says that uh, loss in forest area in Mizoram, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh is a uh, worrying sign. We all know Northeastern India is a, a biodiversity hotspot. We all know that Northeast India is a biosphere hotspot and uh, uh, the ecological services provided by the uh, forest, the fully grown biodiverse forest in northeastern India is more important. Uh, this cannot be, this uh, uh, loss in uh, highly diverse forests, they cannot be equated with the gains made in Odisha, Assam, Telangana, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir and Manipur. Apart from providing biodiversity, apart from uh, being the storehouse of biodiversity, the forests are also playing other ecological functions like flood control, climate moderation and all. And this report has failed to uh, quantify those ecological functions. Open cost mining in northeastern region is posing threat to the uh, forest cover of northeastern India. The author concludes with saying that uh, science-based intervention is needed in order to increase uh, forest area in India. And uh, author is also suggesting to uh, move away from monoculture plantations. And as we discussed earlier, the increase in the percentage of open forest area gives us a glimmer of hope to move forward in uh, achieving the recommended level of 33 percentage forest area. The author concludes by saying that uh, we need dedicated efforts to protect the forests of Northeast and India. The second article for uh, today's discussion is on uh, india palestine relationship. The article is titled Ramallah Recall on india palestine Policy. In July 2017, Prime Minister Modi became the first uh, Indian Prime Minister ever to visit Israel. And uh, normally any international leader uh, when they visit Israel, they have made it a convention to visit Palestine. Prime Minister Modi broke this international convention by not visiting Palestine during his Israel visit. This break in convention created much uproar among the public intellectuals. After breaking the uh, international convention by not visiting Palestine, India supported the cause of Palestine in UNGA, uh, United Nations General Assembly vote. Breaking this international convention, uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, did not visit Palestine. This created much uproar among the public intellectuals. But these uh, change in stance doesn't end here. 
after posing friendly relationship with Israel, India supported for the cause of Palestine in the UN General Assembly vote. And in 2018, the early 2018 in January, Israel Prime Minister visited India and many of agreements were signed between uh, India and Israel for uh, in the different areas. In January 2018, Israeli Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu visited India. And uh, with, after a few weeks after uh, Israeli Prime Minister's visit, Prime Minister Modi visited Palestine. These events indicate India's uh, de-hyphenation in uh, foreign policy. Rather than following the romantic ideologies, India has chosen the path of political reality. This is a welcome move. Prime Minister Modi reiterated the support, uh, India's support for Palestinian cause, saying that India hope India is hoping for Palestine to become a sovereign and independent country in a peaceful atmosphere. See, we all know that Israel is uh, crucial for India as far as defense and agriculture is concerned. We lack agricultural and defense technology and uh, uh, we have signed agreements to acquire technologies from uh, Israel and this makes uh, Israel imminent to India. But uh, increasing uh, Israeli relationship should not hamper our relationship with West Asian countries uh, who, for whom we are uh, depending on for uh, fuel. This increasing Israeli relationship is, uh, this uh, increasing Israeli friendship should not hamper our friendly relationship with West Asian countries on, on whom we are dependent on for our petroleum supplies. Prime Minister Modi's visit signifies that relationship with Israel will not hinder India's ideological support to Palestinian cause. But, uh, this ideological support has not come without a caveat. The caveat is that whenever India has supported the cause of Palestine, we have always stood by the 1967 borders. If, uh, if the peace process is being undertaken on 1967 borders, Israelis have to move out from Jerusalem, which they have occupied illegally. And this will not go well with Israel. So, India has not uh, mentioned about this uh, 1967 borders or any specific details were not mentioned in Prime Minister Modi's speech. All they have, all, all Prime Minister Modi uh, mentioned in his speech was nuanced references to change in status. And it uh, avoided any specifics like uh, the 1967 border situations and all. Uh, the author concludes by saying that India is still continuing to support the two-state solution for uh, pa Israel-Palestine crisis. But India has stopped uh, uh, speaking about the specifics for uh, resolving the crisis.